With Destination Earth, we are building a new type of global information system with unprecedented levels of quality, interactivity and detail. Among the many new features, the increased resolution of the Earth system model components is one of the key aspects. In weather and climate, the size of the grid boxes defines the resolution of the model. When we increase the resolution, the grid becomes smaller and smaller, allowing for more detailed calculations to be performed. This is beneficial as it allows to better represent small-scale processes, but we are also able to deliver more reliable information at local scales. First, research has shown that there are important small-scale processes that impact the evolution of both the climate system and extreme events, such as storms, deep convection and clouds, the effect of mountains, cities or lakes on the atmosphere and winds, opening cracks in the sea ice, and the effects of oceanic eddies on the oceanic circulation and its carbon and heat uptake. At the resolutions used today for global weather and climate projections, many of the mentioned processes can take place at scales that are smaller than the model grid and are not explicitly represented by the model. The effects of these processes are then included by what we call a physical parametrization, meaning that they are represented in the model through a simplified process by making certain assumptions. But this often comes with added uncertainty, especially for future projections. Let us look at an example of what it will mean exactly to increase the resolution from 100 km to 9 km and beyond and zoom into an area known for high activity of ocean eddies. The progress in numerical models and the increased computing power allow us to go from simulations where the eddies were represented by making certain assumptions about the evolution to a representation where certain features of the eddies are directly represented by solving the equations of the oceanic flow and finally to having ocean eddies explicitly represented in the kilometer scale simulations we are pioneering in destiny. It is exciting to see that the simulated eddy activity resolves the observed variability very well. The development of the first Destiny digital twins is based on prototypes of so-called storm and eddy resolving models, such as those developed in the context of the European Horizon 2020 project NextGems. This new generation of models can physically represent many of the essential climate processes mentioned before more explicitly. With Destiny, we are aiming at approaching 2 to 5 km resolution in the atmosphere, over land, and over the oceans and sea ice, and around 500 to 700 meters for the regional component of the digital twin for weather-induced extremes. This means that we are moving well into the so-called kilometer scale. Capturing small-scale details correctly is not just beautiful to the eyes. The small scales can affect the larger scale circulations and thereby impact the prediction of extreme events and projections of how the climate will evolve in the future. And then secondly, approaching the kilometer scale globally allows to provide global information with local granularity. This will allow to provide reliable local weather and climate information at the scale of individual cities worldwide, which would be barely resolved in previous simulations. With the Climate Change Adaptation Digital Twin, we make the first steps to operationalize multi-decadal climate projections. This is a major step, allowing us to produce regularly updated climate information for multiple decades ahead, similar to what we do since decades for weather predictions. Increasing the model resolution has also many side implications at technological levels. As much bigger volumes of data will be produced with Destiny's digital twins, we will find new ways to manage this unprecedented amount of data. We will also need to adapt and port our established codes that we use for model simulations and analysis to a new generation of massively parallel supercomputers. Thanks to the technological leap boosted by Destiny, and with joint efforts across Europe, our journey to approach the kilometer scale on weather and multi-decadal climate time scales is quickly moving forward to help us better adapt and respond to environmental challenges.